Welcome to John Gets Games. Today we'll be playing a full two-player game of Discordia with my friend Matt, who's going to join us here in the studio. We'll start things off with a brief overview of the game, then we'll play the full game, teaching it as we go, and we'll finish things off with a discussion at the end talking about how the game actually went. Now, I do want to point out that this is not a sponsored video, so if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of it in the future, then please consider directly supporting the channel by going to patreon.com slash Games. By doing that, you can gain access to a wide variety of exclusive perks as well, including my opinions episodes. I've done dozens of these. Uh, I talk about the games that I'm playing recently. They're effectively ongoing reviews for all of the stuff that I'm playing. You can also watch some videos early and advertisement-free, and this is one of those videos that went out early. And you can also gain access to an exclusive podcast feed where you can hear audio versions of all of the vlogs that I make. Now, uh, I do also want to ask that if you like this video in particular, that you click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel, and that you comment. Um, if you like what we did here, or if you maybe see us cheat, or if you see turns that we should have done something differently, then please comment about those down below, because we love to see that kind of feedback. All right, it's now time to jump into the game. Hey, Matt, thanks for joining us for another game. Hey, John, <laughs> good to be back here today. Uh, I... I heard about this one after you kind of posted about it in our Discord, and I was really excited to kind of give it a whirl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At one point, um, I mentioned Discordia as a game, and somebody thought that I was talking about, like, the game of Discord. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's a Euro game set in Roman times. Um, so I'm going to start this thing off with a brief overview. There's a, there's a lot of icons going on in this game, and then we'll, we'll teach the actual rules as we go. So as an overview of this game... It might look like you need to get victory points and have the most points, but that's not what is going on here. Instead, we're trying to employ our people. Uh, Matt and I both start with 15 people, and at any point, if either of us has zero people to employ, we win the game. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go through four years with five rounds in them. So we're going to take at most, uh, what, 20 turns each? Um, but again, it could be quicker than that because we might get rid of our people. So the the, the high-level overview of a round is we've got these dice. One person is going to roll them. They're going to go out here onto the board, onto the spots that match the pip values. Then we are going to be using these dice to take turns, and um, then the little ship will move forward, and then we're going to roll the dice again, and we're going to pass the dice around. Um, once we get to, uh, once we finish five rounds, that will finish a year. At that point, we're going to try to fight off the Germanic hordes that are trying to destroy our buildings and make our lives harder. Um, then infrastructure happens, and long story short on infrastructure, more people are going to be joining us. Um, I played this once before, and in the very first infrastructure, both myself and my opponent got like 15 more people in the first <laughs> year. It was like, I try to get rid of these people. But either way, more people come in, we refresh some stuff, the boat goes back over here, and then we go into a new round of the game. So that's like the structure of the game, and we'll talk about the nitty-gritty of how all of the actions and stuff work while we go. And uh, yeah, let's begin things off with the very first year. I am the starting player, so I have this token. Um, also, as part of setup, in uh, reverse player order, we each took one tile from this market. So Matt took this military uh, city tile and put it onto his board. I took this marketplace tile, and let's go for it. So uh, I'm the starting player, so I roll these dice. We have a red one, and so we're going to put these onto the values that match here on the board. And these essentially dictate our action options, the stuff that we can do. Now, I was the starting player, and I was also the Maximus player. Um, these two things are a little bit different. Uh, the starting player token will stay in front of me for this entire year, but the Maximus player is going to move around the table, and that person is the one who rolls the dice and who picks first. So I rolled the dice, which means I go first. So I think I'm going to take this yellow three. Now, the Maximus player actually takes the die, removes it from the board, and they put it right here. Uh, the player who has a die on their board is the Maximus player, so that way we can kind of track things for uh, for figuring out who the next Maximus player is going to be. And now I have to take at most one uh, main action with this die. So the main actions are out here on the board, and they're technically printed on these little tiles here. I randomly shuffle these up and put them out at the start of the game, and they'll stay in their spots for the rest of the game, so it's a little bit of variability. So this tile right here has three different main actions printed on it. Um, actually, it has four. You'll notice this line and that arrow. And what this means is I can choose this, that, that one, or the bottom one, which means I can take one of these uh, city tiles and add them onto my own player board. Now, again, I can do one main action, and I have to choose any of those. Uh, I obviously went with this yellow three that's right over here, so that means I'm choosing from this section. So this lets me either build an expansion, or I can take two stars from the star cult area. Uh, the number of stars in the game 
differs with the player count. So there's 12 over here, and these are definitely going to start to disappear as we go. Um, or I could take either one of these two tiles. I think I want to do this right here. That is an expansion action. You can see it's got a shovel on it, and that matches up these shovels all the way over here. So essentially, for my main action, I'm going to take one of these expansions, and I'm going to put it onto my player board. I think the one I'm going to take is this marketplace. Uh, the number of tiles in these stacks is also dependent on the player count. There's four in each of these and then two of these over here. And we'll talk about those later on. So I'm taking a marketplace and now I'm going to put that into my city, essentially expanding the number of spaces I can put these tiles down. Uh, you can kind of think of these as like foundations for buildings that you're putting down on top. And uh, we have rows that are matched with the colors. So we got blue, red, white, and uh, yellow, which are effectively ports, barracks, marketplaces, and farmlands. So you put these down in the leftmost empty spot, and you can go off the side. If I was to take another one of these marketplaces, I could put it over here and keep heading off to the right, but obviously that isn't happening right now. Uh, so I covered up icons, and whenever that happens, you get the effects of those. This right here is an infrastructure icon, and this won't come into effect until we end the year, but covering these means less new people are gonna come into my city and want employment. So covering these is good. That right there lets me increase the aqueduct track that's down here. So I go from zero up to one. And this also reduces the number of new people that come into the city at the end of the year. So getting this up is certainly a good thing. So yeah, I went there. That was my main action. And now I can take as many uh, secondary actions as I want. One of the main secondary actions is called a special deployment. You'll notice I activated a three. And if we look over here at the city tiles, this one right here shows a gray three and a gray four. Now, gray Gray in this game means wild. If you ever see gray printed on anything, that means any color. So what this means is if I activate with any color three or four, I can deploy onto the city tile. And when you deploy onto a tile, you're going to take people from your unemployment pool and you're going to fill in the spaces. This one has two spaces, as you can see, and you have to fill in the most counterclockwise, most empty space, and you have to fill every single spot in there. So effectively, I got to do a main action, but then this three lets me take this merchant from my supply and employ them at this market. And the next time I do that over here, it's gray, so I could put any uh, type of worker onto that spot. So that was my turn. Uh, so now Matt uh, can pick one of these. And I do want to mention that today we're playing a two-player game. Uh, but if you were playing a three- or four-player game, things are a little bit different. Uh, Matt's going to choose one of these two dice, but he's not going to put it onto his board. He's just going to select one of them and do actions. And if we had a pretend third player, let's say Anastasia was here playing this with us, um, after Matt chose one of these, Anastasia could choose, and she could choose from either of these. These dice will stay out here. Only the Maximus player reduces a die. Obviously, in a two-player game, it's effectively like we're uh, doing dice drafting. So what are you going to do? All right. So I'm going to pick this red one right. because it aligns nicely just as though your uh, yellow three did for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for my main action, I'm going to choose to take this oh. deployment action, which allows me to explicitly deploy uh, one of my soldier units, which I have four of. Uh, onto a soldier barracks that I had on my board. Yeah, nice. Then I will follow up with following the secondary action. Yeah, because you have the red one. Because I have the red one to put down two more, completing my barracks. Yeah. This is particularly advantageous because in one draft, I was able to fulfill my barracks, which is important because only fulfilled barracks are going to give me defense against the barbarians later. Yeah, that, that was a really good first turn. Uh, and just to be super clear, these main actions down here, deployment actions, they just let you select any one tile of that matching color, and then you do a deployment on there. It doesn't matter what the die value is. That's mm -hmm. why the secondary action is called a special deployment. Uh, and yeah, that was a really good uh, first turn for you. Yeah, and so whenever a barracks completes, I get defense equal to the number of workers I have on it. So in this case, I now have three defense. Yeah, which... and the barbarians, we're, we're not sure what the overall strength is going to be, but we know it's going to be at least two. Once we start the fourth round out of five, this will flip over and we'll know exactly what it is. Um, so yeah, um, definitely a good first turn. And yep. you're not actually done yet. I'm not, no. So I have another secondary action, which because I took the place where the boat is, yes. I, get, I can take the boat secondary action, which allows me to spend one of my stars on and go on expedition. Yeah. Um, 
if when I spend stars here, I get uh, special perks, but at the first level, I only am just filling up an empty spot. Yeah, it's like you just embarked on the expedition. You haven't found anything interesting yet. <laughs> yes, uh, but uh, soon we'll hopefully be seeing some cool things. Yeah, yeah. So, so once again, th if you take the die where the boat is, you get this, and it changes with each round. And we'll talk about those as we uh, go on. Mm -hmm. I was pretty tempted to take this, but I didn't want any of these for reasons that I won't go into right now. I really like my turn, and I really like your turn as well. Yep. All right. So now I think it's time to move the Maximus, as it yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. So we know I'm Maximus because I have a die here. So I can take this and these dice and pass it to the next player clockwise. Obviously, we're just going to pass it back and forth. All right. Oh, also the boat moves. Oh, yes, the boat moves. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So I roll them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the boat secondary action is just an aqueduct advancement. It's the same icon you saw earlier. So that's that's definitely nice to have. Yeah. All right. For So for as my Maximus action, I'm going to take the yellow two. And for my primary action, I'm going to take the select a building action, in which I'm going to take this uh, chip and deploy it to my harbor here. Nice. I covered up an infrastructure icon, which is always good. Yep. And uh, I will hopefully soon be able to start deploying my workers into my ship soon. Yeah. And then uh, I only have one secondary action this time, which is the boat secondary action, and I will bump my aqueduct track up one. Nice. All right, um, as the next player, I'm going to select this five. Again, I just kind of leave it out here because other players could take it, but it's just us. So I'm going to take this five, um, and I am going to take this uh, market tile. So that's going to go onto my board, and when you add new tiles, it has to go onto an expansion of the matching type, and it has to go into the leftmost one. So I go there, that covers up that uh, infrastructure icon, which is good. Also, it just gets me one aqueduct bump immediately, and... Um, the dice that I chose was a five, and this tile that I took has a five, and I can fill this up because you take the secondary actions at any point, mm -hmm. so you can kind of mix and match. So I'm doing my main action, and then that lets me put another merchant right over there, and that is full. There's no other spot on there, and it's good to fill up buildings even if they're not barracks. We'll explain why when we get to the end of the year, but that is my turn. Okay, yeah, and now we pass the Maximus. Yeah, so I'm going to roll these. I'm going to roll these, I'm going to move the boat. Yeah, so the boat position, the secondary action here, is to take a tower. These towers are nice. Um, we'll see if we get any threes. If we do, I'm probably taking it. Ah, we didn't, but we got fours, and there is dice manipulation in this game. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Matt and I both start with one manipulator. You can use this once per year. At the end of the year, they all refresh, and that lets you add or subtract one to a die that you take, um, but you cannot wrap from a six to a one, so that means I could use this manipulator right now to change a four into a three, and this is kind of a ethereal manipulation. Like, you don't actually change the die. I suppose as the Maximus player I could, but if this if there was more people in the game, like you're not changing a die option for somebody else effectively. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Towers are awesome. So I'm gonna flip this over and then let's see. I don't really care about the four or the five, but I think I'm gonna take the four. The reason for that is because if I don't, Matt could manipulate that into a five and then get a secondary bonus over there. Um, he still might manipulate this over here and get a tower. That's probably what he's gonna do. But either way, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn it into a three, and that lets me do the uh, tower secondary because I'm effectively doing uh, the boat's column. So that means I can take one of these towers, and in a two-player game, there's always gonna be three red military towers and three white merchant towers over here. And I think I'm going to take this one right here. So the uh, military towers effectively act just like the city tiles that you can put over here on the barracks. This one right here shows a special deployment. If I had a five, obviously I have a three, so it doesn't count. But whenever I have a red five, I can then deploy a soldier onto this. And then that will fill it and it will add one strength. Also, as a one-shot bonus, uh, I get to do an expedition, so I can take a star and put it here. And regarding these towers, they always go above the ports. Um, the ports are right along here, and you may have noticed that these expansions, most of them are squares, but the ports kind of have these little horns <laughs> along the sides. That's essentially there to show that that fits one tower. So by putting a tower here, I filled in that, and if I put an expansion here later, I could then put another tower here. If I got another tower and didn't have a spot, I could just cover up a previous tower. That's fine. So at this point, I've done the secondary action for the boat, but I haven't done my primary action. Mm -hmm. um, so here's the thing. I don't think I want either of these, and the reason for that is because 
I'm going to have to lose a red or a yellow city tile if I don't defend against the uh, the barbarians that are coming in. And the problem is that I randomly only drew one soldier at the start of the game. So <laughs> uh, that means if I put this down like over here, that's going to give me one strength. But we know the strength is going to be a minimum of three because these red ones range from zero to three and these green ones range from one to three. So at a minimum, this is going to be a one. So I need three strength to defend against this. I don't think that's going to happen. There are ways to cycle out your workers and get other colors, but I'm effectively saying that I'm just going to intentionally lose this, which means I don't want to take any red or yellow tiles in this first entire year because I'll lose them. So, <laughs> so that's why I'm not uh, taking these red tiles over here. I think I'm just going to do another expansion, and I think I am going to expand into some farmland. That goes right over here, and that's going to cover up this development action icon. Um, this is a lot like the expedition icon that we've seen. When I cover that up, I can take a star from my supply and put it into the bottommost spot on the development track. Um, if I covered this up and I didn't have any stars, I would just forfeit the action, and I wouldn't feel too good about it. That's why there are ways to like gain more stars. But either way, I'm going to cover this up, slide this in here, and two things happen. Uh, the first thing is I have a one-shot effect. This is a trade action. Um, this icon shows up in a lot of different areas on the board. This means I immediately draw two workers out of the bag, and then I put two workers back. So this is one of the ways that I can change the diversity of workers that I have. Um, I might pull two soldiers out right now, and that might change my plans. So in this case, I pulled out. Oh, okay, we've got another merchant and another farmer. And now I can, well, I have to put two of them back. Um, I don't think I want to put this red one back because the soldier can fit right up there and that would be nice. Um, <laughs> I guess I know that I'm dodging farms, so it's going to be harder to put these yellow ones down. So I think I'll just put two yellows back into the bag. And now this is an ongoing benefit I have for the rest of the game. That says whenever I do a five action, I have a new main action option. You may have noticed this icon right here matches the icon that I just covered up. And that means when you do a six action, instead of doing these main actions, you can do that one, which which is what we just saw. You take a star and you put it into the bottommost spot on that development track. Um, and this one over here on the five shows a parentheses. That's because once you have developed once on this track, that unlocks the ability to do a development action as your main action on a five or a six. So that's certainly nice as well. Uh, at this point, I have one other secondary action, and it's a special deployment. This four is a three, and I have a three over here, and it's gray, so it could be any color. And that means I could put any color worker down to this spot because that is gray. Because I might have problems with farmers, I think I might just put a farmer here. Sure, we'll see how that goes. I, I do have a lot of merchants, and I filled up all these spots, but I have another spot to get another merchant tile. So we'll see. All right. All right. Now it's my draft. And I think... Uh, you're right, John. I think I'm going to modify a die as well to effectively turn this uh, red four into effectively a red three. Yeah. One thing to note, one of the reasons I'm so intrigued to do this, in addition to just getting more actions, is that at the start of the game, there we have some goals that we're trying to achieve. Yeah, decrees. And one of the decrees is have three towers, so making sure I don't fall behind in the tower. In the tower race. Is... Uh, is seems like a good thing to do, particularly yeah. this early in the Towers game. Towers are just nice to have. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm going... So the tower I'm going to take, I think, is the military tower you were contemplating getting. Yeah. It uh, lets you dump more people, and it's potentially stronger, but it doesn't have a special deployment on it. Yeah. So you have to do, like, a main deployment action to put a, a soldier and a sailor down there. Exactly. And so that gets me one... Uh, expedition. Expedition. Wait, was there a special order I wanted to do things in? Yes, I think there's actually a slightly different order I want to do things in. Okay. Sorry. So uh, I effectively have my red three, and I will take my special boat action after I take my main action. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I will use the shovel action to develop a farmland because I, too, want to get my development track going. Going. Yeah, because that's another decree. Um, so yeah, the first of us to complete these objectives takes the decree and we put it over here covering up infrastructure icons, which is good, and getting various benefits like this gray worker onto a gray building just lets you do a, a bonus standard uh, deployment. So yeah, gunning after these is good, and one of them is develop six times. So that's another thing that we're, uh, we're racing on. Yep. So I'm going to uh, put this down here. 
uh, unlocking the special power John described just a moment ago, and then I get to draw two people. There's like 130 workers in that bag. There's <laughs> so many <laughs> workers that come in this game. Okay. I, uh, I drew a sailor and a merchant. You have a lot of sailors. I do have a lot of sailors. I'm not <laughs> sure what I think about that right now. I might be short-sighted. You spots for two of them right now. Yeah. Oh, I spots for three of them, right? I guess, but yeah, that third spot is gray, so anything yeah. can go there. Th but yeah, you're right, you're right. I think I'm going to get rid of... Merchants? Two merchants. Okay. Um, again, also getting after another decree. I have no more than two different worker types. Yeah, so if I get rid of these two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, my goal is to hopefully get rid of these two in the near future, so I might be able to pick that one up. Yeah, I mean, you're a little bit closer to that. I have three of them. I honestly wasn't thinking about that when I did my trade action. Yep. It's There's a lot going on. It's very easy to, to lose track of these. So that was a good move. Yep. So I'm now going to take the tower tile I took before. And now the reason I wanted to do this in a particular order is I wanted uh, to see what the trade was. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So now I go up on the expedition and that lets me dump yeah, this that, white worker. Yeah, that green icon. Just put a, put a worker in the bag. Yep. So yeah, you just need to get one soldier deployed and you get this decree. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's the hope. So let's see here. I did that, my main action, and then this was effectively a three, which I can't use for anything special on my board. Yeah. Cool. So nice. You are Maximus. The I boat am. moves. And this boat special just gets you a star from the Star Cult track. Yes. And now we reveal what B is. Oh, yeah. So this, so there are five seasons in this Roman calendar. And this one right here is Saturnalia. Uh, two things happen. The first is we have to refresh all the spots. So let's refresh these. Uh, and you may have noticed, <laughs> <laughs> you may have noticed that some of these tiles are double sided. Specifically, the blue tiles are double sided. Uh, I'll talk about why later on. But but the rule book specifically says that these stacks, it does not matter which way they're shuffled. You're just supposed to you know be arbitrary. And I think we're being arbitrary enough. Uh, so the other thing that happens is we reveal the other Germanic tile, and it's a one. So that means once we finish this year. Uh, we need two plus one or three strength. Um, you need to equal or exceed it in order to succeed. If you succeed, you gain the benefit that's shown on the green tile. In this case, that's gaining a star. If you don't meet or exceed it, then you suffer the penalty. As I said, mm -hmm. losing a farm or a barracks. Um, obviously, I'm planning on doing that by not having any farms or barracks. Um, all right, you get to roll. I do. Okay, so let's roll. A six. A six. Five. And a Two. Oh, sweet. I was hoping for a five. It's the wrong color. It is. Oh, yeah. It is the wrong color for my. Uh, now I have. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. I think. I think. I think being a little short sighted is probably the way to go here. <laughs> I think my best option here is to take this yellow five. Okay. I take this yellow five and I'm going to use the standard deployment action. To oh, to deploy onto your uh, your fort. To deploy onto my fort. Tower. Your fort tower. My fort tower. And that does it. Which does it, which means I have only two colors of worker left, yep. which means I get this decree. Very nice. Which gets me a star. You could flip it over, too. It's oh, got yeah, a nice little check mark. Oh, sweet. Which gets me a star. Yep. Uh, which is good, because I'm starting to run a little bit low, and means I will get one less person into my supply. Which is good. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. I deployed. I think that's all that I can do because yeah. unfortunately it doesn't align with anything nicely. And I wanted to get that done before, um, you know, you ha you perhaps had the chance to mess me up. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So now I get to pick one of these, and I think I'm gonna go with the six. And for the main action, I'm gonna develop. Uh, instead of doing these things, part of me wants to take this ship and put it into my port to try and start, you know hiring these sailors out but as we've seen these decrees can be good and one of them is to race up to the top of the uh the development track also these benefits are great so yeah uh for a development action i just take a star i put it here and then that benefit lets me immediately do an expansion action and i'm going to take a port uh that's going to cover up an infrastructure and it means i have another spot for a fort and as we mentioned before first person to three forts uh, first of all, the forts are just good, <laughs> but also they get a decree. So I'm trying to work towards multiple decrees at the same time. And uh, yeah, that's a quick turn for me. Sweet. 
All right, uh, you become Magnus, and we move... It's the fifth and final... Maximus, not Magnus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fifth and final season of the first year. We've got a yellow one, red three, blue six again, and the boat secondary action is just a trade two. So draw two workers out of the bag, mm-hmm. put two of them back into the bag. Well, I think I'm a broken record. I'm the Maximus player. I'm going to take this. I'm going to do another development action. Oh, you're a bum. kind of leaning into it. Uh, I'm going to run out of stars at some point soon here, but this will go here. So that lets me advance my aqueduct once, which didn't actually lower my deduction. That's a minus one, minus one, but hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. And that also lets me do an expedition so I can put this here. And then much like you saw with Matt, that lets me put one person uh, back into the bag. And now I'm one expedition away from getting a second tower and I have a spot for that tower. So that feels good. Um, also, I'm one development away from this spot, which would give me another manipulator for the rest of the game. And these are really good benefits. I'll talk about those later on because I think they're going to become relevant soon. But I do need to send somebody away. I've got a lot of merchants and I don't need to try and get down to just two different colors because that decree is gone. I'm tempted to get rid of one of these merchants, but I also have like no way to get rid of sailors right now. I'm going to go with the sailor. Sure, I'm going to put one sailor back. Um, all right, that was my main action. I don't have any secondary actions, so that was not... I guess it was a big turn. I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, you're a bum, John. I was really hoping to get that one. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see here. I don't think I have anything particularly fancy this turn to pull off, so I think I'm just going to uh, use this red three as it is to perform another development action. And I think the one that makes... Expansion action. Expansion action, sorry. uh, Is I think to take one of these... Oh, uh, yeah, that that gets your deduction going. Yeah, that gets... That makes means I get two less people next round. Why two? Oh, right, because you covered the infrastructure and the aqueduct went to minus one. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I really wanted to start getting some people on my... Boat. On my boat, but that just was not in the card. The numbers were not, were not going out there. All right, that is it for this uh, fifth season of the first year out of Potential 4. So now before we do anything else, we have to do a couple of things over here. The first thing is we try to fight the uh, Germanic invasion. So their strength is 2 plus 1 or 3. My strength is 0, so that means I would lose a farm or a... Uh, Barrack, if I had one, but I don't. So they <laughs> they walk right in and they walk right out again. Uh, and then Matt. I have five strength. Yeah. I have th- uh, two here and three there. So yeah. I and win. Just to, con- just to be like super explicit, if Matt didn't have this here, that would not count. It has to be a full barracks. So in this case, he would only have two strength and he would lose. But obviously that's not the case. Yep. Very nice. And so I get the reward, which is one of these stars. Yep, one star. I mean, they're good. I'm down to one. Mm-hmm. I, I need to get more stars. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so now yeah. infrastructure time. Mm-hmm. So we'll do this um, in order. I'll do it first. The way this works is we first start by counting up our infrastructure icons, and then we add to that the number of empty spaces on our uh, building tiles. So over here, um, these infrastructure icons kind of show up all over the place. Uh, I've got one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, And then when it comes to my tiles, I don't actually have... Oh, no, I do! I have one empty spot. (laughs) I never filled this. Okay, so that means there's eight infrastructure plus one. That's nine. And then you subtract the uh, deduction from your aqueduct track. So I have nine minus one, which is eight. So that means I now have to draw eight new uh, workers out of the bag and add them to my pool, which obviously is going to make it Harder for me to win the game, which happens when I get rid of all... Oh my gosh, where are the soldiers? <laughs> oh, this is scary. I got five. I need three more. Uh, let's see. One... Oh, there we go. And another sailor. Um, I do want to point out that this can go negative. Um, if when you subtract this from that, you go negative, you can just mm. choose these and put them back into the bag, which feels good. So I have a ton of farmers. And now, Matt, you get to infrastructure yourself. Yeah, so I have a couple more people on my board, which is annoying because my uh, harbor has a lot of people on it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, infrastructure, and then the three from my boat. So that's a total of 11. So we, okay. so we both drew the same amount? Or wait, no, you drew... I drew nine. You drew nine. No, so eight. I, I drew eight, because I drew nine eight. minus one. Yeah. And you're drawing 11? I'm drawing 11. Okay, all right. Which is a little bit of a bummer. Boop. So 
I I I am I am I am sailorific up in here. <laughs> uh, that is true. So now the next thing that we do is we have to clear off all of the completed full buildings that we have. Um, so over here for me. This building is complete because it has no empty spaces. So these go back into the bag and that one also. So here's the thing, Matt, you drew 11 uh, workers to my eight, but I'm removing three from my ecosystem and you are removing five. Ah, so it, those buildings are full. Mm -hmm. So we're a bit closer to, we are a bit closer. So you, you got more people, but you also had better infrastructure to get rid of people. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now um, okay, so we have to get rid of all of the tiles from the top row. Then we're going to shift to the bottom row up and then refill. Mm -hmm. I'm Let's hoping see. to see markets. Come on, markets. I want to see a market. Those aren't markets. <laughs> <laughs> ah, geez. One market. Oh, there's one market. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I don't desperately need markets, but I, I do have a nice spot for one. I just have a bunch of these people. All right, so now all of our uh, modifiers, manipulators, refresh. Uh, the boat goes over here, and then the last thing that we have to do is figure out who is going to be the starting player for the next round. In order to do this, we count up our workforce, and the player with the most workers will be the starting player. 20. 19. Nice. So we're really close. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get to be the start player, yes. and... I'm, and I'm also Magnus, because you... Yes. Sorry, Maximus. Maximus, yes, 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 yes. So yeah, here we go. Yes. Second year, we're a quarter done with the game, or maybe even less, because you know it could end prematurely if somebody gets rid of all their workers. Yeah, Ooh. one. It's on the spot with an expedition. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, oh but well, you don't have a port. I I can get one. You... Oh, no, I can't. No, you can't. Yeah, if there was a shovel on this spot, which there could be if we were playing a different yeah. cycle. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, that's so... Oh, there's one more thing that I forgot to do. We have to clear these tiles. Oh, yes. And reveal the top one of these. Oh, okay. So it's a zero which means the maximum is going to be three total because it can go one to three. Mm -hmm. And that penalty is you lose a tile. So there's no dodging this. Yep. So I, I have a couple soldiers, though. We'll see. So, like, if I were to take this, do I have to... I, I, do I, I don't have to take the secondary action. All I? actions are optional. Okay. You don't even need to do a, man, a, a main action. Mm. You usually do. Uh, I played this once before, and in the very end of that game, all the stars were gone, and so there was like a turn or two where we like legitimately didn't have a main action to do. Gotcha. But by that point, we had so many secondary actions, it kind of didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, so I think I'm... See, I think I'm going to take this because this is... Because I think denying you an easy expedition expedition for a tower for a yeah. tower um I'm, I'm bummed you did that but i think that was absolutely the yeah right call. it's also really good for a lot of other things i have on my board oh so, oh yeah it totally is yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good die so i think i'm going to first do a secondary action which would be to spend my red one to put a mill yeah your red down. one enables that special deployment yeah and then i think i'm going to take this yellow yeah because now i hopefully will have the means to start uh you know now drafting any of the three dice uh could yeah if it's the right number and it's i mean it's one and six those double numbers are great yeah uh, of course if you do the single numbers they have uh benefits like this one you take it you just immediately get to do an expedition action mm -hmm. but it's harder to yeah you know. and i'm going to forego the boat action because I think I'll probably be able to get another expedition action, which could get me a tower at a more opportune time. Okay, that makes sense. And you've denied it from me, so that seems seems smart. Um, okay, so I I could take a tower. I'm not sure if I want to, uh, because I could take this uh, with a three, mm -hmm. getting me the expedition, going there, getting me the tower. Um, that's my last star. And the thing is, if I develop instead, which I could do right now, three turns in a row, if I went there, that would get me another manipulator. And manipulators are good. <laughs> They're definitely good. So this is a tricky, tricky little moment for me. Problem is, I would way rather have this to dump a bunch of soldiers into. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to defend against this. And I know that the max value of this is three. I think there's only one three in these Bs. So odds are low. Odds are good that two is good enough. I think I should just do it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do this. I don't, I'm not in love with this action, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to take this. That is going to go here. Um, that uh, obviously lets me do an expedition. So that's my last star. 
uh, and that lets me get a tower to put over here. I'm still, like, I still need to expand here and get another fort to get that decree, but at least I'm ahead. Um, now, over here, I took a three, and I'm actually kind of tempted to take this right here. That says every time I take a three for the rest of the game, because it's gray, I can draw four workers out of the bag and put four back. So that's a huge cycle. Um, and I get to advance my aqueduct twice, bringing me to the five spot, and another decree is being eight spots up on the aqueduct. But this is just a permanent one strength. I would just put it there. You don't have to fill it up. It's just one strength for defending things for the rest of the game. These are these are tempting. I'm going to go with this because it yeah. helps me vie for another decree. And decrees are good. So yeah, I'm going to put this here. Um, all right, what have I actually done? I, my main action was take this tile. Secondary action was that. And then now I can do this secondary action. Oh, and I get two aqueduct bumps. That gets me to the minus two. I'm three aqueducts away from that decree. Then this happens. So I'm going to draw four randomly out of the bag. <laughs> Soldiers, they're here now. And oh gosh. And now I have to put four back. How many yellows do you have, John? I do have a lot of yellows. That is accurate. But all right. So I have spots for a couple of soldiers. Oh man. I, th I think I'm going to throw these soldiers back. I mean, the thing is, if I hold the soldiers, though, they might be good for the next round as well. And like having people over here is, is not necessarily a bad thing. And if I go on a soldier drought, I could be a bit bummed about that. Well, I've got six soldiers. I've got six uh, farmers. I've got six merchants. So let's just get rid of those three right there. Um, and then I have no boats right now. So cool. Decision made. I just went with a rainbow. Uh, and then I can activate this. That's a gray three. Um, so I can put a merchant right over there. And I think that's everything. I think that's everything, yeah. Cool. All right, uh, so now I uh, am Maximus. Yep. The boat moves to the aqueduct spot. And we're rolling a lot of sixes. We uh, are. Uh, oh, a couple of threes. All right, I'm Maximus, and I think I'm going to take this red three. Uh, and then I'm going to do an expansion action. I'm going to take another port. That'll go here, so I have a spot for a third fort. And I covered that up to give me a much, much, much needed star. Very nice. I now have one star. And uh, another thing happens that we have not talked about yet. There's a new secondary action that I just unlocked, and that's down here. So this says the moment you have four uh, expansions on your board, you can take a privilege. And if you have six expansions, you can take a second privilege. I have four of them, so I can take a privilege. There are five of them we randomly grabbed at the start of the game in a two-player game, so I can take one of these. Uh, now, these up here are part of the reason why I've been hoarding a bunch of farmers, because if I took this, then that says for the rest of the game, every farmer is wild. It could count as any color. And the thing is that this bottom part says if I have two um, identical decrees to this, a.k.a. if I take this second one, then every single worker in my pool is wild. So functionally, the color doesn't matter at all. If I take both of these, and again, I can take a second one when I build two more expansions. Um, the third way to get a decree is over here, uh, and I'm just three expeditions away from that. Of course, I need a pile of stars to get there. So those seem good. This one obviously would make my soldiers wild, which is also good, but... This one would give me two stars immediately, and I really need stars. Um, these are both one-shot abilities. So this would be two stars, and then I could do a standard deployment onto any building, which I was really excited about until I realized my buildings are boring right now. <laughs> um, they're all ones. Like If I had a two or a three, that would be amazing. Uh, and then this would bump the aqueduct once and let me do a development, which is uh, two of these decrees. That would let me push towards both of those. And I do have a star to go over there, which would get me a manipulator. So long story short, this is a hard decision. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going to be really bummed not having enough stars. Like I, I'm up into the really powerful mm -hmm. areas on these tracks. I think I'm going to take the stars. I, I kind of can't believe it. I was planning on doing this and then doing that as quickly as I could mm -hmm. to make all of my workers wild, but I think stars are more important. So... I'm going to take this. It can kind of just go off to the side. That gets me two stars, which is great. And then I can do one deployment. Um, so I could go here, there, there, or there. This one I'm going to be doing on this turn anyway, though. Um, I suppose 
these are the harder ones to do, so I should just do one of those. All right, let, let's say I deploy over here. So that's going to be a soldier. That gives me one strength, which is certainly not bad. And yeah, the three and the three. So now I can deploy anything over here. You also have uh, your trade people option if you want to do Oh that my gosh, first. you're right. You're right. I do. Threes Matt. are big for you, John. Threes are big for me. I totally forgot about that. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, so yeah, I draw four more out of the bag. I put all the sailors back, I imagine. Uh, probably. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of sailors. Um, I mean, I have no places to put sailors right now. I should definitely start getting ships. But I think, yeah, I, I think maybe I'll just put four sailors back. That's well, here's the thing. I was hoarding these farmers, planning on making them wild, but now I kind of put that plan off. So maybe I should kind of split the difference. I'll do two farmers and two sailors. Okay, and now we can do this. Um, and sure, we'll put a sailor over there in the marketplace. Done. Nice. Uh, all right, I am going to take this yellow. I'm not going to take, but I'm going to use this yellow six. Yep. Um, so I'm going to first do a development action. Yep. Which lets me put the star here, which lets me uh, expand. expand. And I think I want... I mean, those these are good even if I don't. Even if you don't get this decree, yeah, they're good, they're good to And have, it also yeah. covers up a person. Yeah, so. no, I think that makes a lot of sense. There's only one more of these yeah. as well. I could take this and put it here to make it impossible for you to take that. Yeah. We'll see. I might I might not. Uh, let's see. So I got, uh, so that was the, this. So it was that to this to this. I'm still, unfortunately... One tile short of getting one of those special privileges. Yeah, I got a little bit ahead on that. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, so that was my main action, uh, the bonus of that. And now I have a yellow six, which lets me put one of my farmers oh, nice. down here. And now you've unlocked, I mean, the next time you do that, you could put three down. Yeah. With, you know, also with these. So that that's strong. That's strong. Yeah. So nice. I was pretty happy with that. Done? Yes. All right. That's tower time. It is tower time. Potentially. And I am first to pick. Well, you can't deny me a tower. I cannot deny you a tower, which is a mild bummer. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Blue, I, I have nothing. Yeah. And I also have no yellow. I kind of dodge those. My city infrastructure is a yeah. little weak. I need to start So I'm doing going that. to use... I think this is going to be a pretty cool turn, so I'm yeah. going to use my flipper. And I think I'll use the... I'll convert the blue to a three, essentially. All right. I will... Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Yeah, you do. Uh, I will take this tower as the second, as the boat action. Yep, yep. Uh, which boops me up to right here immediately. Yep. Then I'm going to take the trowel action Yep. to grab this. And now this is where things get crazy. Because I get to take this privilege. Oh, you're going to take it. Yep. You absolute punk. Yep. Uh, you get a star first. You covered up a star. I covered up a star. Oh, sweet. That's even. Wow. This I is... can't believe you took that from me. Wow. Yep. So I put that star there. Um, cause At I... least I feel good that I didn't slow boat it. Like, I, yeah. I wasn't putting it off. You just beat me in the race. Yes. Yeah, so, which gets me. So first things first. So I got the star. I got yeah. a little ahead of myself. Um, so this bumps me up one on this track. Yep. I put this here, which yep. bumps me up again on this track. Yep. And lets me go on an expedition, which lets me take a tower. So. Oh, are you kidding me? You're doing both of them? Oh my gosh. My patience. Oh yeah. Really, uh, really paid off. And now I get to take this privilege. All or, right. No, this decree. Decree. Yeah. Which lets me deploy a person and reduce. Oh man. So you man. can deploy three yellows onto that farm. Three yellows onto the farm. Or two reds, or two soldiers onto that barracks. Wow, this is a ludicrous turn. Yeah. I'm so upset. Yeah, I'm, I I think I don't want to risk eating crow later. I'd rather have to, ooh, I, this is a one or a four, which are easier for me to get. Uh, uh, mm, mm, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to play it. I think I'm going to play it cautiously. I think, okay. Because that will guarantee that I don't lose to the... Yeah. Yeah, you are, you're guaranteed to not lose a tile. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. And 
if I wanted to, uh, no, no, because it was a three, not a two, so this does not come into play. Mm -hmm. Done? Yep, done. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I think I need to manipulate this four and two or three. I'm still going to do it, even though the race is a little bit gone for that, because that lets me take the final tower. That'll go here. That lets me bump twice on the aqueduct, so I'm one away from that. These, these decrees are really running away from me right now. This is a three, which means I get to do this. So let's draw four more. <laughs> So many farmers. I really should try to make my farmers wild, I think. Um, John and his wild farmers. <laughs> I mean, they're not wild yet, but there's two ways to make them wild. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I want to say, like, there's no way you could take that away from me, but you're really good at taking things away from <laughs> me in these games. Uh, okay, I have to put four people back. I'm still really bad at employing sailors. So maybe that, that, and then... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll get rid of these four. Uh, I haven't done a main action, which is over here. I could take a couple of stars, but it, that the pressure's a little bit off on there. This, I mean, I, I, I have so many farmers. I, I need to put farmers somewhere. Also, I just need to build out my infrastructure. But also, also, you know, we both have four of these expansions. So if I did that, I could take a fifth one, go there, and then be a sixth expansion away from that, which would go there and things pop continue to pop off also these decrees getting there sooner rather than later i guess yeah okay i'm going to take this i really shouldn't talk myself out of it i need desperately need more infrastructure so this will go there that covers up that covers up one infrastructure but it also gives me two empty spots so if i don't fill this up that's actually plus one to the uh populace that's going to be coming in all right i I, I I thought this was going to be a really good turn. It was an okay turn. Mm -hmm. But um all right, I think I'm done. Mm, okay. This should be over here. I shouldn't have taken it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Matt, you're the Maximus, so that means I am Maximus. Yes, so now we reveal Oh yeah. What is It's a 3. Okay, it's the highest value and if you get to 3, you get a free development. And then we action. fill in these spaces, right? Yes, yes we do. I really want this, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I mean, it's really hard for me now. I, I, I have one strength. I can get one strength here. Not this turn, though. So like, my cap on strength is two. I was really hoping that was going to be a one or a two. Mm -hmm. But it's the worst. And I'm not even seeing a good combo out here. Like, no, yeah. I could take this, but it fills in on a three or a five. I, could, I can't manipulate. I don't even have a manipulation left. Oh, also, I don't even have a spot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you'd this have is to, bad. You'd have to overwrite. I mean, the farm one isn't terrible it gives you oh over here yeah because you'd then be able to send someone there directly yeah and it... that is true and then and a two matches up with this to put another and person over there you then also have just like a ton of like right your farms will be everything but a three and a four yeah yeah that that is true i'm also kind of tempted just to take a barracks expansion go here um just to have a spot to put a barracks in the future, but it might be just, I might just need to give this up. I, I hate that, but I might just need to give this up. I, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think that is the best plan that I have right now. I'm not sure if you just talked me out of something good for you, but uh, <laughs> I'll stick with this. That'll go there. Then I can activate that so I can put a farmer on top of there. This one, that too will activate so I can put a merchant over there. And man... These last couple turns, they did not go the way I wanted, but that's me done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want you to take the blue five, but I, I, I did honestly think that yellow was a good draft I mean, the draft blue five wasn't, I almost, I, th I considered it for the development action to go here, uh -huh. but anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So I'm going to take the blue five. Okay. Which the first I will, uh, so for the primary action, I'm going to use the develop bonus. Um. Well, not the bonus, but the develop yeah. option that I got from having a development in the first place, which gives me another fudge token. And now, to do my ships, I now no longer need a blue five. I just yeah, need we, a five. We haven't described that explicitly, but yeah, this just means all blue numbers on Matt's tiles are gray. So mm -hmm. any five lets him yes. go onto that ship. So this time it does happen to be a 
blue five, but yeah. in the future it no longer needs to be a blue five, nice. which is great. Nice. Uh, so that was primary, my secondary. Oh, I can rotate people out of the bag, which I think I will because I have a five. Yep. So I think I want to keep the military for next turn. Um, I don't think I need any more sailors. No, you do not. So uh, maybe you should get rid of sailors. Yeah, <laughs> I might be able to get, I think I'll probably return. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I'll return three sailors and keep this farmer. Nice. Yeah, and that is my turn. All right, so you are Magnus for the last... Maximus. Maximus. Yeah, I think we, season of the year. We keep mixing it up with uh, Concordia as like a uh, uh, perfectus Magnus. Magnus. Yeah, yep, yep, that's what it is. Yep. All right, roll them. Yep, let's roll them. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think I'm going to take this red six, mm -hmm. and that's going to let me do is going to do another development action. Yeah, which covers up uh, infrastructure, which covers is up nice. an infrastructure. Bonus pushes my aqueduct. aqueduct. Yep. Makes farm gray. Gray is great. Because you're six, yeah. Wow. Let's me dump all this here. This has been your year. This has been my year. I'm not gonna get my boat filled, but I'm I think I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, so I main action, secondary action, I have no other sixes on the board, so I am done. All right, I've got a decent turn. It's a little weird. I'm going to take this one, this yellow one, uh, and for my action, I'm going to take this. That is going to cover up this previous building. I can just get rid of it out of the game because I don't have a spot for it. Mm -hmm. uh, that will let me do an expedition, though. So I can go here, which lets me do an expansion. So now I'll take this, you know, one turn too late. It adds to my infrastructure, which I do not love. But it does give me a star, which is good. I was so ahead on these tracks, and then that just inverted. Um, and then there was more. That's right. So I have a yellow one, which activates this down here. So that lets me put three farmers. Suddenly, all my farmers have evaporated on here, which is certainly a good thing. And I took a one, so that means I can do a four cycle. Uh, let's see. A couple of farmers... Um, I have to put four back. It's a lot of soldiers. Mm -hmm. I think I might do a couple of soldiers. Here's the thing. I'm going to lose to the Germanic invasion. I'm going to lose a tile, so I think I'm going to sacrifice this tile. Mm. Um, This tile seems too good. I don't know. Maybe I will keep this and sacrifice that one. I don't know. Either way, I think I don't need this many red. Maybe I'm getting rid of, what is it, four? So let's maybe do that, that. I don't want to get rid of those. <laughs> I still have no spots for sailors. You know what? Two sailors. Yep. Goodbye. That makes sense to me. And then that's it. I'm done. Okay. And that's the uh, year. So I have a strength of one. I have a strength of four. Yeah. So I lose a building. Um, maybe I should keep this. I mean, it gives me opportunities to defend. That was my problem mm -hmm. last round. It's like I, my ceiling was so high. Mm -hmm. I so, guess I should keep so this. So low, yeah. So low, sorry. Yeah, so low. So yeah, I guess I should get rid of this. That reveals uh, infrastructure. This one doesn't, but I don't know. I feel like I need to win this one a little bit longer. We'll see. Either way, this is the tile that's going to go away. And then Matt, you get, you I, get to do it. I get, oh, man. Yeah, that, so now... I, Every die face on your board is wild. Yeah, which is great. And I hit six. So you take a decree. Which means I get to return someone to the bag and put someone on the board. Yeah, do a full deploy. Probably your fort. Or your uh, barracks up at the top, the barracks tower. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get rid of I want to turn this around, but I feel like you're kind of creaming me right now. Yeah, and then I get to return someone directly to the bag, which yeah. is probably a sailor because yeah. I have so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Really well done. Really well done. Uh, okay, cool. So now infrastructure. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus I have nine, ten, eleven empty spaces minus three. So that means I take eight new people from the bag. What do you got? Uh, so I have five minus three. So I only get two people. Oh my goodness. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. 
Guess what they are, John? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that's good. Yeah. And there's no way to ma- it's difficult to make them wild, so. Yeah. But there's lots of ways to cycle as we've seen. Okay, yeah. so um now we can ditch this row. Yeah. I have a suspicion we're not going to go the full 40 years. <laughs> yeah. The, the, if if my if I keep up this pace, I think yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um okay, and then I have way more people than you, so I'm going to be the starting player. Oh, yeah, and then we clear our boards, right? Uh, yeah, all the full buildings and go away. Partially filled buildings stay, correct? Partially built, yeah. You, you keep those people. Boat goes here. Yeah, I have 19 people, and you have 11? All right, uh, refresh your manipulator. Yes. And these go away. All right, and then over the a. we're starting the uh, second half of the game. <laughs> uh, this one is one strength, and if uh, you get hit, you lose a, a ship or a market. All right, let's see. Let's see some dice magic. We got a two, a couple of fives. All right, I'm gonna use my manipulator immediately. This blue two is gonna become a blue one. That lets me do an expedition. Mm-hmm. So this will go here. That gets me two more stars. I got lots of stars. And then I get to move the aqueduct, which gets to the eight. So I finally beat you to one of these. <sighs> yeah, Holy that was crap. That was key. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt's on the seven. So he's a hair's breadth away. I, I'm sure there's a way you could have done it. On yeah, that was, that, that was my sole mission. It was mission. now or never. It was now or never. Yeah. So this will go here. That covers up an infrastructure. And it gets me another star. So I, I, I likely have enough stars for the rest of the game. Matt has no stars. I don't. Uh, that's interesting. I could star starve you. But yeah. the big thing is uh, getting these people out. Okay, so now that was good. You know what? I'm going to do something. I, I feel like I'm I'm behind. I think I'm clearly behind. Doesn't mean I'm out. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. I'm going to take this. It's a risk because I'm covering one infrastructure with three liabilities. That's a lot. But I do have a bunch of soldiers. Um, but by doing this, I... Uh, I guess increase my liability by plus two, which isn't great. Infrastructure by two. But that lets me do my final spot over here on the expedition track. And I do want to note that we can expand these tracks. Like, I could do a expansion action, put this here, and then that lets me do an anything drop. And then this lets me do a red drop and permanently lowers my infrastructure amount. So that is certainly good. And maybe I'll get up to there. But either way, I am going to do this here. Um, and then I get a manipulator. I, I just use this one, so I get this one back. So that gives me some flexibility, and I get a decree, and I'll take this one. So my farmers are officially wild. And I think there's a little bit more. This is two is a one, so that means this activates. So now I just want farmers. Like, I'm just going to keep all the farmers I can find. Uh, so I'm going to draw four. <laughs> all the farmers I can find. All the farmers I can find. Um, <laughs> uh, I still have no spaces for blues. I think I'm just going to... Give up on blue. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. Bye-bye, blue. <laughs> I've got spaces for soldiers. I've got spaces for merchants. Uh, okay, so that is it. And I can't activate this one because I don't haven't made it wild yet. I haven't made any of these wild yet, which is a real problem. But I have the stars. So anyway, I'm done. Nice. Yeah, so hmm, I think what I'm going to go with is... Uh, either one of these uh, fives because... Because <laughs> yeah. uh, that's your options. Yeah, those are my options. And the color actually doesn't really matter to me because I have unlocked all of this yeah. up here. I think color doesn't matter to you at all for the rest of the game. Yeah, so I... Well, the color of the dice, at least. Um, yes, 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 sorry, yes. <laughs> yeah, I... I knew I was very confident when you were taking your turn what I was going to do, and now I'm <laughs> hesitating. <laughs> uh, I, I think... Yeah, so I think for my main action, I'm going to take another dock because I need to start. You have, sail- you have a sailor problem. I have a sailor problem. Yep. Um, uh, for my secondary action, I will deploy one of my blue sailors here. Mm-hmm. And then Do you I have a, uh, a three uh, trade. I have a three trade. Yeah. Okay, now those are soldiers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, True. Now let's see here. So I think I'm just going to throw these back in the bag because okay. none, none, I don't think they change anything Yeah. for me. And yeah, I think that's my exciting turn. All righty. Uh, you get to be Maximus. I do. Boat and, moves. It's oh. the aqueduct. 
fives again and a red three. All right. Let's see here. So that push is nice, but not as nice as it was last round. Yeah. That red three is good for you. It is, yeah. I don't think I can make it good for me at all, which is unfortunate. Mm. Oh, I can make it work for me, unfortunately, for you, John. That's fine. Yeah, I think I take this red three because it's really good for John yeah. and and workable for me. Yeah. Um. So, and for my secondary action, I'm going to put blue boats sailor there. I will then draft this. Oh yeah, yeah. That lets you fill it, and it moves your aqueduct. Yep, moves my aqueduct, and then I can fill it it's instantly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was it was still a darn good move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're done. Yes, I am done. I have no other threes on my board. Okay, well, I'm gonna do something cool. I don't think it's game winning cool, but it's cool cool. Nice. <laughs> I don't think either of these fives, the colors matter to me. I wish it was red, but neither of them are. Uh, so, whatever. I'll just do a five. Uh, that lets me fill this in over here. Uh, but the key thing here is there's a, uh, an expansion action. So that lets me take this and go up here. So I've expanded nice. my expedition track. And that's my one, two, three, four, five, sixth one. Mm -hmm. So that means I get another decree. I'll take this. I have the two yellows since they're identical. Oh, I just realized these aren't on camera. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, two yellows. That means all of my workers are wild. So so for you, your dice values on your board <laughs> are functionally colorless. And for me, my workers are functionally colorless. It's just kind of funny that that's that's the way it worked out for us. Um, again, not necessarily game winning. I haven't had problems with my workforce, but I did it. They're all wild. So um, let's see. Yeah, the three would have been better for sure because I could have put one over there uh, and also filled this in over there. But either way, it's still a pretty good turn. I just wanted to make sure to grab that before you did because um, it, it it makes things hard for you. Like, yeah, you I... are worker color restricted. You have no wilds. There's this one here, which you could take, mm -hmm. but it makes your soldiers wild and you have no soldiers. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that can stall things out enough for me to get back into this. We'll see. And having this is nice too. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. I did the five. I think I am done. Cool. All right. You are Maximus. I am Maximus. Towers are on the menu, but there are more, no, no more towers, though. So that is functionally done. A couple of ones and a three. Wow. Don't love it. <laughs> I was really <laughs> hoping this red would be a three, a five, or a six, or one manipulation away from a three or five or six. <laughs> so literally red one is the worst... It's not the end of the world. I just would really like to start getting these things down. Also, argh, nothing is near development. That's a bummer. I think I'm going to take this yellow one that matches up over here so I can put uh, anything down because, again, all my people are wild. I may as well match for the time being, though. Uh, and then for my main action, I'm going to do a yellow mm -hmm. deploy. Um, that just unlocked this, so now I can put three more down. Again, color doesn't matter to me. Uh, so I've done my main action. I've done one secondary. I can I can cycle, but there's no reason to waste everybody's time uh, because every worker is the same for me. That's it. That's I'm done. So now you get to pick. Yeah. I'm in a little bit of a pickle being that I don't have any soldiers. And that yeah. is... These are numbers that I actually really like. I just don't have the right people to put them down. Uh-huh. Hmm... We did not plan for this, but I think it's kind of interesting that we each have the ultimate opposite flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Obviously, having both of them together is the real way to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use my modifier to turn either of these dice yeah, <laughs> two. into a two. And for my main action, it'll be to put a sailor down. Uh-huh. It's happening. So this happens instantly, correct? No, actually, at the end of your turn. The end, okay. Yeah. That, that, we haven't talked about that just yet, but that ship's about to sail. Cool. So I put that down, and then it activates my swap. Yes. And the problem that I've run into is I realize I should have switched around some of my ratios last time because I need four. I should have taken one of my farmers. Oh, yeah. I'm, odds are reasonable you'll bump into one here. Yep. So I get one, two. Uh. 
three. Uh, okay, I'll take it back. Sorry. Uh, so I will keep the soldier because yeah. um, there's a chance that that because I will probably want them there to be safe. Yeah. I'm going to need a merchant because I'm going to be getting a new merchant spot. Uh, now the question is, do I keep the sailor? So with my current lineup, I can one to fill that and put someone there. So I think I hope and pray for another farmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, that is my, and it was a two, which triggers, just triggered that, which yep. it's a mild bummer, but I'll take it. All righty. Um, you're Maximus. I am. And oh, we, things happen. So the yes. B flips. Oh, it's a four. Ugh. Oh, it lets you do a deployment action if you get to four. Uh, I still have zero. Apparently, I'm just a pacifist this game. And then, yeah, we're refilling the market. Oh, it's a yellow. It's a big yellow. Ah, <sighs> okay. So this flip at the end of my turn? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so at the end of your turn, that ship sails away. The, those are special. Uh, they, they sail away as soon as you finish them at the end of your turn instead of at the end of the year. It flips over. And it turns into a really nice marketplace. Yep. As one space, and you can put three. Does this slide over or no? I don't believe so. I haven't been sliding mine over. Okay. Um, if I'm getting that rule wrong, I'll I'll put a correction on screen. But cool. Um, I think I need to draft this. So you can cycle dice. So I can cycle, cycle workers. With the workers. Yeah. Yeah. In hopes of getting just a uh, work. No, two soldiers, I guess. Or yeah. Or yeah, just. Not oddly, having a low number of people has been <sighs> kind of terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. This uh, the farmer's nice as well. He wanted this one more is farmer. nice. I don't need this, so I would be getting rid of two more sailors. I think that's the move. Yeah, I think it is. That's weird. It is. I agree. <laughs> uh, okay, so. On my five, I get to do that as a secondary action, which is nice. I have not selected a main action yet. Right. So I can either get three military strength, which I think actually puts me further away from being safe. I agree. You need to wait to hold two soldiers and fill that other barracks up. Yep. Uh, I can get two stars, which feels a little lame, but not terrible yeah or because if i don't take the two stars john might swoop them I might, i've had several turns to do that but yeah yeah because if it's, i take this then john might take the two stars I'm much more motivated yeah to, i think okay well that's it that's all the stars so we we know what our star ceiling is mm -hmm. my go yes all right I, I don't have a great turn here uh i've been i've been thinking it through that that red five would have been nice mm -hmm. um but these numbers are not great. The four would let me put a single person down over there. But the six, I could do a development action. And I, 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 I really feel like I should... The, covering these up would be great. And also, I have the full flexibility. So getting towards full mm -hmm. color flexibility would be a really good thing. Because dice color has been a real problem for me. It doesn't feel great, though. I'm definitely losing to the <laughs> Germanic um, armies again. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take the six. It's a blue six, so I guess I'm activating the blue six. Um, the only six I have here is red, and um, obviously I can't do that. So I'll develop here. That does give me my final manipulator. I guess Matt couldn't have gotten to his final manipulator anyway with two stars, but it is nice having three. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know how much longer this game is going to go. Um, but I have that. <laughs> All of my blue tiles are wild, and I'm done. Cool. All right, so I am the Maximus. You are the Maximus. And let's see. Low numbers, not, not what I wanted, I don't think. I think I wanted high numbers. I could double manipulate into here to develop that. Just, I mean, it would increase this and it would decrease my life i guess my overall infrastructure would go down by two which is not bad um five oh man why couldn't this be a three? <laughs> oh, that's frustrating or i could just leave it i could manipulate this into a three go there and there uh that's not terrible it doesn't do this but that doesn't really help me out right now anyway 
It, it does, but it doesn't. Yeah, a yellow or a blue five, I would put no people down, but lower my infrastructure by two. A three would let me get rid of two people, but not lower my infrastructure. Oh, no, it would lower my infrastructure by two. And I would get some rid of some people. All right, we're doing it. So I'm going to manipulate this into a three. So I can put this over there. Uh, and then I can put this over here. Again, colors don't matter for me, but we may as well stick to it. Uh, and then for the three action, I'm going to expand. Again, it's my seventh expansion of the game. Uh, and it'll be a barracks. So this does not decrease my infrastructure, but it does let me do an expedition. So I'll go up here onto this expanded expedition. That lets me do a fill action for any of them. So I can do this one. So I'm still one away from being strong enough. There's no way for me to get there. I, at least as far as I can tell, which is, uh, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, and then I did a three, but obviously there's no towers. I think that's it for me. This doesn't matter to me at all anymore. All right, I'm done. Uh, you moving that red was really... Problematic really, for you? Uh, not problematic, but uh, I was going to be able to deploy all my farmers because I was going to move it to a one, and that would have oh, been real sweet. Well, <laughs> it was not an intentional counter draft, but I feel good about it. You should. You should. Phew. Um, I feel like I'm holding on by my, my fingernails right now, but I might be coming back. We'll see. Yeah. So the barbarians will hit us, and I'm losing. So I'm going to either lose a uh, blue, blue or a white. Blue or a white. So you might take a sacrificial blue or white. Interesting. Because if, if either of these gets hit and there's people yeah. on them, they go back into your supply. I think I have a plan then. All okay. Right. Oh, actually, that's not a terrible. That's not terrible at all. That just bumps my aqueduct instantly. And then I destroy it before we do the income phase. Yeah. Oh. If it's a sacrificial one and it bumps Ooh. your aqueduct, that's not bad. That's actually a great trade-off. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, and you wouldn't have to suffer the liability of the open spaces because it. Yeah, <laughs> that we built it to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can't get two blues down. I was really hoping I'd figure that out, yeah. but it's not quite in the cards. Yeah, so I think what I end up doing is I uh, I will use one of these threes, which again, my for me colors don't matter. I'm going to take this white. Yeah, which bumps up my aqueduct by one is great and then with my three i'll put down my other sailor over here uh-huh yeah and i think it's it, it's not my flashiest turn no but i think i'm going to be relatively happy because yeah if i had one more fudge i was going to be there was other things i could do but yeah, yeah the getting to the one spot was a key it's a key move for me but nice. you removed that from my options way to go accidental block <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> all right um so uh, the strength is four. I have zero. I am one away from four, but I'm at zero, and you are at, at one. At one. So we both lose a blue or a white. I lose. I mean, I think it's just this one, which is unfortunate. This person comes back. Yeah, but I'm going to lose this white because... Yeah. It... So you kind of netted on me in that exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, and then infrastructure. Um, all right. So I'm at one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ugh, I keep being at eleven. Uh, minus four, so seven. Seven more workers. Yikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven minus five, two workers for me. I am still super behind. <sighs> Colors we'll that I need, please. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then these go away. Yep. This side oh, goes over. I obviously have way more, so I'm going to stay one, starting player. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. I should have one more color. Sorry. Oh. One more person because I forgot about the gray boat. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I didn't fill this in to defend, but now it's very easy to get to four defense for this final year. If we get to the end of this year, though, which I feel like... I'm hoping I, won't happen. I, I can imagine you're hoping that, yeah. <laughs> Manipulators flip. All right, the C. So it's a, it's a one. It's low. And here's the thing. If we get to the end of this year before either of us runs out of people... My gosh, I have so many people. Um, you, you gain five more random people from the bag. Uh, if we get to the end, the person with the least... Workers wins. So obviously, adding five workers is bad. 
Um, okay, uh, we have to cycle these out. Yep. Really high turnover on these things. I imagine yeah. it makes. I imagine it makes more sense in a. In well, a with more players, yeah. there's more rows actually. Oh really? Yeah. It's uh, in a four, three player game. There's three rows, and four player game. There's four rows. Oh dang. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Uh, All right. Yeah, you were fourth year. I, I'm. I, I. I'm not even counting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna roll. All right. They're low. I'm really good at rolling low. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> Expedition is not bad for me. I would go here. That would lower my infrastructure by one, if that matters. And I would could deploy over here immediately, getting up to four strength, which is it's not bad. Well, I don't have enough space in my city for all these people. So I need to take tiles. That just has to happen. You got a nice parlay with this one right here. Yeah. Red 2 does not do a whole lot for me beyond that, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a dink dink. It doesn't use a manipulator. Mm. The other thing is I could use this right now and go there, which would let me do a red thing and it would lower my infrastructure. But again, I strongly suspect, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to go out with your inflexibility and my inflexibility. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with this. I'll, I'll save my manipulators for like a mega turn. I'll take that one that goes here and I can place one on there for the two. It's not a very strong turn, but I'm hoping, I guess for the red six, like if I get a red six, I can really mm -hmm. get something going there. All right. That's, that's my tiny little turn. Nice. All right. I'm going to take this. Oh, actually there's a little bit more. Sorry. There's a uh, two here. Yeah. Tiny, tiny, little bit better. Okay. All right. I'm going to activate the blue one. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to use the military deploy action to put these two people here. Uh huh. Then. The one will let me put a uh, farmer there. Oh my gosh, you are so close to closing this thing out. You have the spaces in your city for it. Yeah, I do. You do. Oh, uh, then the one here. Yeah, even if you took the one, I was definitely going to use a manipulator. Yeah, you have a couple of manipulators. I mean, I, yeah, I have yeah. a huge hill to climb. I'm just, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, and so, right, this doesn't need to be closed out, right? Correct. You just, it would, it would employ a person. Okay. You just do that now, don't you? I do that now, yeah. Oh, so you're just a one or a six away from winning. A one, one four or six away from winning, yeah. Four? Because it has the deploy farmer action. Or five. Uh, yeah. You're, you're winning on the next turn. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, be, and then I might as well take advantage of the stars while they are, yeah. no, no, it'd be, while they're here, so you can do that, and this, you know, this we can just show it. Yeah, yeah. If, if you keep going up there, it, I mean, it also lets me put farmers down, which two into is... the bag. But yeah, you have a million outs at this point. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was your turn. So here, here you go, <laughs> Mr. Magnus, Maximus, uh, Maximus. Yeah, Perfectus Magnus. Really, really, <laughs> it's in there. Three, four, four, and yeah, I, I guarantee there has to be a way. I mean, yeah, you yeah. Can just manipulate any. Yeah, I pick mean, your poison. I, yeah, I just I just take this, <laughs> uh, and I use the uh, the farmer action. The farmer action. Yeah. Um, actually, I mean, just just for just just for fun, I'm going to spend my two fudge tokens to turn this into a six, which lets me put my star down here. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll use the second half, and to... then forego the the dumping two back into the bag. Yeah. <laughs> GG. So obviously the game is over. Matt yeah. wins immediately. We got a little bit into the second round. I have a lot of workers still. I mean, I let's see, that's 5, 10, 15, 16. It was not close. Yeah. Uh, I, I really feel like, uh, first of all, good game. Thank you. Good game. Thank you. Uh, I feel like you won in the second round. I uh, agree. The second year, and then I was just trying to piece something together from that point on. I mean, I did some pretty cool things, but... Yeah, it was a really big hill. I just didn't have enough synergy over here of numbers to even have a shot in this last round. Yeah, this tile really was the game-winning piece it for was. me. Yeah. It was, uh, which is interesting because I had a chance to take it before you did. Mm -hmm. I just, and I talked about it being good, uh, but that was the linchpin. Uh, you you took, I think, two things away from me. And honestly, <laughs> I think you could have uh, sealed the deal even quicker. You, you could have taken this I... because you took that instead oh, of this. Bit. Oh, yeah. And if you had, you would have taken 
this and that would have gone there and you would have won even sooner yeah. i was like happy to see you i think miss I, that i think i was it didn't super matter yeah i think i was just trying to be safe with the military where it's just like oh if we get like you know yeah i imagine you just didn't see it i think if you saw it you probably would have done it i probably would have done it you're yeah. right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well um good game even though it was not particularly close i still really had uh, fun with it. Last time I played this one, it was down to one turn, and obviously that is not the case here. Um, but uh, we got to see some pretty cool pop off combos, even if they they didn't go my way. <laughs> yeah, no, this was this was a s- solid game. I really I really enjoyed it. Granted, I won and had a lot of impactful and significant turns. Yeah, I mean, I had a couple good turns as well. Um, there was just that one in particular yeah. um, that was a kneecapper, I think. Hmm. And I mean, I think you play this really well. I mean, you like you said, you set up this final round. You had a million outs. Like I, I don't think there was a die roll there mm-hmm. that you didn't win on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah. This I, yeah, this I, I was a little nervous, being that like once these numbers start to get small, it was then like, oh wait, it like was getting really puzzly. Yeah, it was. Um, I didn't realize it, it became a little bit easier once I realized like, oh, I just had to get people on it. I didn't have to complete the right. location. Yeah, you don't have to complete the buildings. But all of a sudden it's just like, oh, now this tile is almost useless for me because like, like, I'm never going to have three of them again, hopefully. But, right. you know, there's the fishing thing and the fishing becomes very important later on. Yeah, well, for you, it, again, I think it's really cool that we both got the different flexibilities. I mean, again, it didn't work out for me. I'm not saying that your flexibility is necessarily better than mine because flexibility of workers oh, yeah. is, is huge. Uh, I think my bigger problem was, was infrastructure. I, just, I was just drawing way too many people. I, d- I did not piece together good enough numbers over here. But, I mean, it was kind of cool to see, you know, like take some things for granted and then be really restricted by other things. Like I was super restricted by the die rolls and you weren't. Mm-hmm. And you were super restricted by the workers and I wasn't. I mean, I just put them into a big jumble over here at the end yeah no this this was a clever game i I don't think i've played anything really like it yeah i I remember when i first heard about it and i saw some images i was like oh this game looks like a euro game it looks cool um and then when i read the rule book uh i got like three quarters the way through the rule book thinking that it was just you know a dice grabbing worker using game and then i got to the the end game and it said you know you win if you get rid of your workers and i was just like wait what there's no points. Like, I, it's funny. I went into it kind of blind and I had this like inverting reality moment where I was like, wait, what the heck is this game? Mm-hmm. It's just like, there's no points. I mean, I guess workers are your points, but workers also do stuff for you. It's like, get rid of points while also getting benefits for them. And yeah, I really feel like piecing together good numbers in your buildings is a big part of it. Like I didn't get more than two of a number, uh, in order to like activate and i guess that's partly because i mean i never took a ship i never took a ship this entire game and that was the only thing i was flexible on Mm -hmm. i I didn't get my development up high enough um which is not the way i thought it went i mean i went two turns in a row develop develop and then i almost developed a third turn in a row and then i did something else and i can't help but wonder if you know where things would have been if i had done things slightly different there yeah this is a style of game that you don't see too much of but i like a lot which is it it's I like the deconstruction game where you're trying to like get rid of stuff. Yeah. Um, this really isn't exactly like that because one of the parts of a deconstruction game, right, is that you're you generally become less good at the things you're doing as you deconstruct things. That's true. Yeah. Um, here, it the the way you get rid of things is a little bit independent of the things you're getting rid of. Yeah. But I I, I always kind of I like that idea. It's just it's just a it's just such an inversion of what you're used to where it's like, I want more, more, more. And here's like, I want less, less, less. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then you get some and you're like, no, 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 I didn't want that. Yeah. <laughs> like I spent all this effort to get rid of stuff and here it comes back. It's like, it's like, no, I drew all the things that I don't have the tools to do. <laughs> right. Right. It's interesting that like, this is a, a combo game with like an inversion of what's important. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the first year or the first few rounds, like the, the main action is the the driver of your dice grabs and the secondary actions maybe you'll put like one worker down or something like that um but then as you build out an infrastructure well hypothetically (laughs) (laughs) um as the game goes on the secondary actions become kind of primary in your head Mm -hmm. and you're like you're like okay i'm taking this because secondary 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 and then ah, what what's my main action i didn't even think about it (laughs) yeah it's it's funny that the, the the primaries become tertiary as the game goes on uh, which is kind of a cool flow. Mm-hmm. No, it, it definitely is. When you, you when I first learned about it, I was thinking, I was curious how similar this would be to like 
Anno, but it's nothing. Anno 1800? Yeah, it doesn't feel like that at all. Um, like I mean, I, To a certain extent, I guess. Like, Anno 1800, in large part, is about, like, I have all these cards, how do I get rid of them? And this is, I have a lot, all these people, how do I get rid of them? But, yeah. It, but, but we like, weren't feeding off of each other. Yeah, you're not feeding off each other. And generally, when you got things to do things, you you weren't getting people along with those at the same time, right. right? The only one that that happens with is like the barracks, which is, yeah. um, I was fortunate that I didn't really need to expand yeah. again with there. I got, I, I chose to eat a couple hits instead of yeah, or eat I, one hit. I, I never defended this whole game. And I do think that that was part of my problem. I mean, there were three attacks. Mm -hmm. The first attack, I didn't care. Like I planned around not being hit. Yeah. The second and third attacks, were a bummer. I mean, because like the, the second benefit one was is, bad. is good. I mean, and the, the, the second one that you defeated got you that third, that sixth development, mm -hmm. which gave you a decree and also turned your red positions wild for you know moving on. So yeah, yeah, it, I think you can win this game never beating the barbarians. I think I just did not show a very good version of it. This is only my second time playing, and it's Matt's first time. Yeah, <laughs> I think but. it also depends upon what the punishments are too. Because like right, sometimes the punishments aren't. I I'm I'm assuming that the higher these numbers are, the less bad the punishments are on the barbarian tiles. On yeah. the barbarian tiles, I think that's probably true. Because uh, like the zero was pretty terrible. The zero was was very bad. It's so true. and we didn't flip over the D. Uh, the 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 green side. It's just less people. So mm. you know, in in the last year, if you make it to the end, I've played this game twice, and I've never reached the end of the last year. Um, if you make it there, like defeat the barbarians, lose people. Don't defeat the barbarians. I guess they just set up shop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> asking yeah. for jobs. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, I think it you you're you end up paying like a little bit. You're definitely put, putting more uncertainty in what's going to go on because. Yeah. If you play the low military game. Yeah. It's interesting. I've played this twice again. The first game went um, 19 rounds. And the second game, this one right here, only went 17. So I wonder how often, like, I was genuinely worried you were going to win the game in the third year. Yeah. I, I'm kind of glad you had a stall out year and I was able to put things together a little bit, even though I didn't really mount... Like, I was mounting a comeback in the third year, but then my infrastructure was just not good enough, and seven more people flooded in. Yeah. Yeah, no, the the fact that I only took in two, Yeah, really. But, I mean, in Or the, three, yeah. Yeah, but the, the year before that, like, I took nine or something like that, and you got, I think, three? Yes. Or, or a, some, like, a low a, single digits. A very yeah. terrifyingly low amount. And I guess, you know, that there is that. Like, mm -hmm. were you destined to win this game after the second year? Maybe? I mean, I didn't... I wasn't sitting here like, oh, I should just quit and walk away because I was having fun. And I was like, maybe I could put together, because this is a combo game. Yeah. Like, maybe I could put together an awesome combo. Obviously, it didn't happen. But I guess, you know, I, my data set is two. But I guess in one of those data points, it's like, okay, well, you, you really can <laughs> yeah. maybe get a little bit insurmountable. It's not a runaway leader, but it might just be more like if you have a particularly good combo, there aren't, there's no rubber bands here. Yeah, there are, no, yeah, there's definitely, so I like, mean, yeah, the slightest bit of rubber banding if you have the most people on hand. Yeah, at the beginning of the year, which is, again, the, the, the tiniest amount. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for playing, Matt. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad we got to highlight this and you got to beat me thoroughly again. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I've only played this one two players, so that's yeah. my next quest. I'm curious to try this one at more. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be curious to see how it plays with a higher player count. Awesome. But, yeah. Thanks again. Thank, no problem. Thanks for having me over. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgamescom support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.